What's going on people? We are Tottenham TV back here for another match reaction. Chelsea 2, Tottenham 2 in our penultimate pre-season game just before the brand new season gets underway. And as you all already know, the first person that we always speak to after the game is my grandpa. So grandpa, how are you doing? I'm doing great. I think I'm in, not in sync. So my voice and my mouth, are, uh, timing is different. <laughs> not for us. We can see you just in sync so uh, i'm not sure what's going on there but um yeah, in terms in, in terms of the game today um how did you think it went uh, who were your stand up performers uh, i thought um i thought it was quite it was very interesting the outstanding performer performer for me was nuno i think mm -hmm. he, he was it was very he played a very bright game i mm -hmm. i think in terms of the players gallini was definitely the outstanding yeah but many of the other players i thought were weren't uh I, there's nobody that was really really outstanding other perhaps Bergwin was was good um but uh, i think they all had uh, a reasonable game in some ways um uh, what was really interesting though was if i was coming on at half time i would have said presumably what numo said that the the uh amora and son just weren't being fed and it was very, very, they, they weren't coming in from the wings enough. They were coming too too much down the center. And they, therefore, they weren't able to get their runs in. Now, immediately afterwards, uh, when Winks came on, and I think he led the way in this, uh, but didn't necessarily carry on, but he led the way. And we had three, three opportunities, one which was definitely a penalty, uh, in the first five minutes yeah. uh, where, where they were fed. Uh, and that, that, really made it, that really made a difference. Um, I thought that um, uh, it's, it's interesting because they changed nearly all their players halfway through and that, exactly. that really showed a weakness on their side and we were able to, to play up front. Um, but, you know, there was, there was good signs um, and I thought some of the players that were playing weren't, that had been sold or sent out on loan. So that was all quite, <laughs> quite interesting. I mean, I, I, I thought that... Um, uh, but I thought it was I thought it was good. Who did I really pick out apart from Gulan? I think Regulon had not a bad game. Skip works so hard. He does, yeah. I, I really thought that uh, you know he he was great. Um, Regulon, I said Regulon, um, and there's some nice little touches between Tandanga and Bergwin uh, mm. in the corner there at the beginning, and I thought that, that there was sort of just nice touches to get them out of trouble. Uh, uh as uh, as debuts go for Gallini, Grandpa, um, how impressed were you with his with his performance? As you say, he was obviously what one uh, maybe man of the match today um, after a series of saves. Um, but did you feel how impressed were you with him um, in his first first time seeing him? Yeah, I was very impressed. I mean, he's quite young, isn't he? Yeah. And I thought that I thought he, he he had maturity in the way he played, the way he uh, he ran. He, he he came out once right to the. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, penalty line and uh, was grabbing the ball. He was he was playing well. Um, I thought, uh, of course, you know, wanting Ali to be ca uh, captain, which was the headline in one of our one of our shows. Uh, I thought he didn't have such a good game. Nevertheless, uh, I think he was playing too far in the back. Yeah, uh, I think he needed to be much more up front because I think he's very good with those little touches to get it to the. Uh, and I, I still think that he is the one that should be captain. He was captain again, so I think Nuno might be agreeing with me uh, that uh, that he should be captain. Um, so uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, I thought, it, I thought it was really good. Grandpa, did it worry you um, at all in the first half when Chelsea had their first team out um, and they were really, really playing better than us in that first half? Did it worry you that we couldn't really get a foothold in that game in the first half? Absolutely. And that's why I say Nuno had a better game because Nuno saw that too and he put it right. He put it right by A, bringing uh, Winks on. Was it he brought Winks on for Holberg? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and Holberg wasn't really doing a good job uh, as a centre-back. And I, I thought that first goal that they got uh, where Moira made, a, made the mistake, but there was nobody mm. behind Moira. They didn't, yeah. There was a space there. Where was Dyer? Dyer should have been there. 
Yeah. Uh, and uh, he wasn't. So, the, you know, you had the two centre backs way on side and it just gave him a chance to run through. So, though it was more his mistake, I don't think he was to blame. I think there should have been somebody behind him. He shouldn't be the person that's preventing uh, a player getting through. Mm. So, uh, yeah, I, I thought it, it was. And we weren't, you know, I think I put something on the chat. There was one, one spell when we actually got 17 passes. Mm-hmm. And then, and then another eight passes. Just when you were saying that we weren't playing very well, and I thought once we get into doing those passes, I think that uh, it it, it uh, that made a difference. And they brought that in again in the second half. They were passing much better uh, and, and feeding the feeding the forwards. And Grandpa, we haven't uh, got your opinion on the channel yet on uh, goings on at Tottenham. Um, what's happening in the past few days, um, and specifically with uh, Harry Kane? Um, obviously, he hasn't turned up for training uh, since uh, well, since he's come back from holiday. He's come back two days late. Um, had obviously wasn't involved today in the friendly. Um, this saga is set to rumble on um, for the majority of the summer. What's your uh, take on the current Harry Kane situation? Well, while, while the game was on, I got a tweet saying that it's, he's agreed to go to Manchester City for 130 million. Oh, it's probably uh, talks that that man, that man City want to spend that money. I don't think he's agreed to go yet. But but um, but but what my what, what my feelings is, we don't know the truth. You know, and it's one lot of people say he's not even come back yet. He's still out in uh, uh, in the Bahamas. Yeah, I think that's part of the problem, Grandpa, because he was due back. Uh, he was due back uh, at Tottenham on Monday. Yeah, he was due back, but he didn't come back because he's supposed to have been in uh, isolation. Uh, but we don't know that. And I, I can't believe that he, he would not, if he couldn't come back, he wouldn't have said something. But then if he, if he said something, why, you know, why aren't we getting messages from... Uh, from Spurs saying that's the case so I just don't know what to believe at the moment and I think that's rather sad um, looking at it as a bigger picture I, I, I somehow feel that it wouldn't be so bad if he went if it gave us 130 million to spend uh, or even 100 million to spend uh, we, we could get two good strikers probably um, and I, and I, I remember the days. I think it's the last. I think the last game he played well. But the last three, three or four games he played. He, he and and before that, when he was when he was off uh, injured, we mm. won a we won a, a couple of good matches without him. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not that frightened about him not playing. I mean, I prefer him not to be playing in England because then we've got to play against him. Yeah, but I, I, I'm not. I'm not frightened about it now. I don't think it's the, the be all and end all. And I think with that money, if we couldn't get a couple more strikers, um, and getting the players that we've got to be striking well, uh, particularly if you're getting Bergwin now getting back into form in terms of striking, I was so pleased to see him get a goal. Yeah, uh, because he deserved it. He deserved it in the last matches, and I think he deserved it today. He played. He played reasonably well. So, so you know. I, the other thing I feel is that your the rest of us, the rest of your comments that were coming in, I did not see one positive comment. <laughs> and everybody was negative. You guys were okay, but everybody <laughs> was negative. Now, well, okay, you can, but if you that constant negativity, and and players seeing that and feeling that, I don't think it's going to help the team. I think we have to find ways to be positive. And we have to leave Nuno to deal with the people that aren't positive. He'll know, he'll know the people that aren't good, are the people that are going to go. I think he's quite an intelligent guy. I'm, quite, I'm, I'm really quite impressed with him. And uh, and, and I listened to, uh, he, you probably didn't see it, but I listened to his after-match uh, yeah. small speech, which was mm-hmm. really interesting. He said, you know, it was a great game because he took away so many things he, can, he learned and so many things he could put right. And I think that's the way he should be thinking, uh, but not saying he should go and he should go and he's he, he's bad. I know some of your people think that I'm senile, but you know <laughs> uh, that negativity. Then when somebody says that to me, I, it doesn't make me feel good. And I think <laughs> you know we, we should constantly be positive where we can be positive. Uh, and I think that's uh, that's a message I think for all the all the fans. Uh, I, I see. Uh, David, they're Irish thinking. He's nodding his head with a smile. 
um, because he's 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 quite positive actually when when I hear him, uh, positive enough to be on the show sometimes. And he's quite, <laughs> so you can pass that message on when you have your your stream later on, um, because we've got to. And I think I think the, I, I've got hope. I've got hope that we're going to do things, uh, to, and that Chelsea team, the first the team they had in the first half were a good team. Yeah, brilliant. Some of their best uh, best players were there. So, you know, let's, uh, let's see how we go on uh, Sunday. Absolutely. Right. Brilliantly. Well said, Grandpa, um, at the end there. I think absolutely spot on, especially on the Harry Kane situation as well. But thank you so much, Grandpa, for coming on as always. And uh, we'll see you next time. You will do. Okay. Right. See you, Grandpa. Bye-bye. Yeah, Go, you Spurs.